Ranked the most accurate forecast in Central Texas by weather rate. This is Fox 44 Weather with AMS Certified Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. Cloudy skies giving away with that front, and as that front moves through the area, at least out ahead of it, we had some sprinkles and long light showers. Nothing major behind the front as promised. We cleared it out. Drier air is moving in, and look at this. This is a beautiful sky right now. This is our live Centex seamless gutter sky tracker on the rooftop of one Colleen Center. Uh, that's a uh, Highway 190 and 114 right now, or I should say Interstate 14, We're moving pretty smoothly at this time. But look at the sky out there. We are clearing it out. We're talking about quiet weather, and the satellite photograph will show you what's going on here with that front. It's moving through the area. Behind it, our winds have shifted back to the north, so some drier and much cooler air moving in. And you're going to notice that definitely later on tonight and early tomorrow morning. We made it up to 80 degrees today here in Waco. We're at 75 at this hour, 75 Temple as well as Colleen. It is 79 degrees down in College Station and still holding on to 81 in Gettings under partly cloudy skies. There's the wind behind the front out of the north and again ushering in some drier air which will allow those dew points to drop which will also allow our temperatures to drop tomorrow morning. Instead of being in the 60s like we were this morning, we're talking temperatures in the low 40s tomorrow morning. Yes, a jacket might be needed. The winds aren't too light. Matter of fact, they go very light later on tonight, less than about six miles per hour. But there's the front as it moves across the Brazos Valley, taking all the cloud cover with it. At midnight, temperatures falling back down into the low to mid 50s. And then overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning, I think our computers are doing pretty well with these temperatures. We're going to be in the lower 40s, 41 or so here in Waco, 40 up in the Hillsboro area. Maybe just a little bit warmer down toward the Brenham area and College Day with a few clouds hanging around. But as we go throughout the day tomorrow, Veterans Day looks great. We're talking sunshine, temperatures upper 60s to lower 70s by noon, and in the afternoon, mid to a few upper 70s for highs, but then we'll quickly cool it back down into the upper 60s to around 70 by 5 o'clock. It does appear that those winds will remain pretty light, and then late Wednesday into early Thursday, sunshine across the board, temperatures a little bit warmer now. We're going to start to see some more southerly winds kick in, and that will allow those temperatures to climb. So as we start the day on Thursday, once again, kind of a cool start. We're looking at 40s here, but as we hit the afternoon hours, temperatures climbing into the upper 70s for highs. There will be a little trough that tries to slide through, but all that's going to do is really kick up our winds from time to time and also reinforce the southerly direction. So the warm wind pattern will kick in here on Wednesday and it will last right into Thursday as well as Friday and Saturday. As we update you on what's going on with Ada, Ada is all over the place, right? going to the south and then now it's going back to the north as a tropical storm and just to give you an idea this is the the track from the National Hurricane Center. You can see where it's taking it here uh, as we hit the weekend somewhere around the Tallahassee area somewhere there in the uh, Florida Panhandle, and then and there it is as a depression before it starts to maybe move into parts of Georgia. That's also Alabama there. So uh, again, some heavier rainfall, wind at least under 35 miles per hour, which is some good news. Tonight, though, our wind is very light north at 3 to 6. We'll see clear skies and uh, low temperatures drop to around 42 degrees. Tomorrow for Veterans Day, mostly sunny skies. Again, it should be a fantastic day. 76 degrees weather-wise, and couldn't ask for a better day, especially in November. As we look ahead there, there comes the warmer weather. 81 degrees on Thursday, 80 on Friday, 82 on Saturday. And again, maybe a hit and miss shower. There's a warm front in the area. And that's why I went 82 and also just a slight chance of a scattered shower. 80 degrees on Sunday and then the front begins to move in and that front will cool us back down into the low 70s and pretty nice weather next week and very November like, especially here in our area. Our nighttime lows will be in the 40s by the end of next week. And as we look at the WC Tractor long range 10 day forecast here for Bryan and College Station, here come the 80s, 80 degrees, not only today, but as we go throughout the next several days, 83 on Sunday, the front moves through and then cooler but very seasonal weather by next week with temperatures in the mid 70s for highs and those nighttime lows will be in the 40s and 50s. So we're looking pretty good. It's uh, pretty cool out there. I know it was a, a little humid this morning, Adam, but you step outside right now. We're starting to feel that drier air move in.